to, appears to be the train to get to the top of Mount Washington, which is fascinating because I suppose if you uh, can't walk or drive, you could just hop on this little train thing, which is pretty cool. There's three of them right there. Very cool. You can always take the train. Very cool. And we're walking over the tracks now. Well, 8.3 miles in, we're at Mount Mace. Henry Clay. Mount Henry Clay. Definitely not feeling 100% right now. I think maybe the lunch might have uh, messed me up just a tad. Lunch of champions. It was pretty nasty, all things considered. So I'm going to take a little breather. Matt's chugging along. Matt's doing pretty well, but unfortunately, I uh, feel slightly unwell. So shout out to Papa John's. <laughs> Matt, how you doing so far? I feel great. I'm a little, my feet kind of feel it a little bit. My left knee is a little sore. My nipples are... Um, I'm feeling them in that too. Well, they're not bleeding but yet. But the so good news good. is we just finished the easiest part. Now we're going to the harder section. And then we're done. It should be fun. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, we'll check in with you guys. This is Jefferson. All right, folks, we're at the top of Jefferson, and I found some more wildlife literally at the top of the mountain. Look at this guy. Where's the marker? Here. He's showing. Oh! <laughs> the dog is on it. The dog is on the marker. They all move. They all move. We're almost there though. All right, folks. Just coming down the other side of Mount Adams. As you can see, it's just total hell on earth. All loose rocks, giant boulders, and uh, definitely an accident waiting to happen. So we're gonna be real careful here. Try to make it down safe. My watch is giving out here, but I'm at. 5,521 feet of elevation, uh, I guess, ascension, which I didn't realize that's what it was, but that is what it is. The height. And uh, yeah, we're surviving. We're out here doing it. All right, we're checking in. We just left the Madison hut, and we are now going to be going to the top of Mount, um, let's see here, Mount Madison. There we go, Mount Madison, 0.5 miles. So let's see what we can get into here. More to come, more to come. All right, just so that everybody is very clear, I am on the final mountain uh, trek here, Mount Madison, and this is literally rock climbing. Like, I I'm looking straight into it right now. We have to go up there, all the way up there. And we came from all the way down there. This is crazy. That little hut, that's where we got water from. Absolutely bananas. I think I'm about to have a heart attack. My heart rate's at like 450. So, JK, but uh, check it in. All right, Matt, how do you feel? I feel great. Very good. Yo, we, could you imagine falling into one of these holes? Yeah, there's giant crevasses everywhere. So we have just topped Mount Madison. And we are now on our way down. We have a four mile hike to get oh, to the Lord. bottom. But it's all treacherous. Like it's like this ankle killing, freaking, you could potentially break your leg if you step in the wrong hole type of stuff. So we gotta be careful. But we're gonna, we're gonna make it out of here just fine, guys. I'm very confident about this. And I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. All right, we're getting back into the tree line. Still treacherous terrain. It says, come year round 
and have a lot of fun. <laughs> Without any protection, right? Without any protection. It's great. It's great. Okay, if you thought getting back into the tree line would be easy, you know, it'll be, uh, you know, home sweet home, easy pickings. It's actually almost even harder. Like, this is just... Yeah, this is insane. Like, it's just treacherous. Treacherous terrain here. Like, we got this whole freaking mountain I have to traverse right now. And I don't have any ropes to climb. Joking about that, but still. Like, this is what we're doing. Just an FYI. Just in case you were debating coming, you know, and doing this hike. This is what you'd be doing with. Like, look at this. Look at this. I feel like I'm going up Everest here. I'm going down Everest. I don't even know. All right, well, I didn't realize this, but uh, looks like we have to cross this treacherous river here. So, uh, Matt's going first. The water is absolutely oh, amazing. This feels so good. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Yo, Matt, let me get a picture of you in front of that waterfall. There's no fish in this thing, but that is a pretty waterfall. Nice and cold. It is nice and cold. Beautiful in here. And now it looks like we get into more hell. So, like I said, we're surviving. All right, we're wrapping up the hike here. We are back definitely in solid tree zone, as you can tell. Still along the river, which is cool. And uh, we got about half mile left from uh, what Matt tells me. Yeah, we did splash some water in our faces in this river. Nice it was cold glacier water. It was refreshing Fantastic. as hell. Rejuvenating. <laughs> so we'll keep you posted. How many miles did we do? Man, it's still saving. It was a long hike. Today we did just about, just over 16 miles. Yesterday we did about three. Uh, total was probably just under 9,000 feet of elevation gain. It was absolute hell. But we had perfect weather. It was uh, almost no wind, clear skies. Everyone was nice on the trail. Nice cold water at the end to keep you moving. Uh, it was a blast, fantastic experience. I think. Would you do it again? Absolutely. If you do it again. I would probably do it again too, but it was, it was definitely a lot of work. Oh, here we go, it's sunk. Distance today, 16.5 miles. Time, nine hours and 56 minutes. Our average speed was 1.7 miles per Ooh. hour. And we burned over 3,000 calories. All right, folks, Presidential Traverse Trail. Good show. <laughs>